Right, so the wrench knife can't take its toll on you, and uh, I don't know when I'm feeling a bit under the weather. I need to be pick me up, so we're going to put something together so I can finish this trailer in good time. So, first thing I need, a couple of these wee yokes here. Put this here, help me throw. Bit of honey, maybe. Try it one there. Top it up with a bit of hot water. Bit of cough medicine. The dosage right. <sighs> Tip top. Now back the fuck to work. Alright, welcome back to Ranch Light and welcome to part three of the uh, silage bastard, which is a little trailer that we're kind of putting together um, for. Don't really know why actually, we just decided to build it. But we're now into the July holidays, so I actually get a week off. No work, none of that shite. I'm just gonna sit and blitz this thing. It's about 90% complete, and uh, what we hope to do over the next couple of days is finish this thing completely, as well as fixing the little bastard, which kind of suffered a little bit of injury. Where, what, what else has fallen off this? <laughs> That's the fastest I've ever had. That, that was scary. It was scarier for me, you fucking gimp. Why? It was my fucking tractor. It's alright, it looks just fine. It looks like a good. fucking pirate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This thing is buggered. Yeah, it's pretty good. Just drive it like that all the time. Alright, so here's the trailer as it sits at the start of this kind of uh, time off I have. Um, since you've last seen it, We've added this panel in the bottom and the front bulkhead also. So I want this face and that face there to be pretty strong. So uh, they're made out of two millimeter thick steel, whereas the rest of it will be uh, kind of point eight. One of the major pieces is actually missing from this right now. One of the major pieces of structure is actually the back door. Um, so for a silage trailer, what you have is a big square back door that pivots at the top. The thing is, I haven't really been twiddling my thumbs over the last wee while. Um, so by the magic of TV So yeah, simple enough frame Got angle iron along the uh, the bottom and the sides uh, And then also just kind of like a bit of 20mm box there Simple enough little uh, pivot I've also capped the top of these uh, these uprights off Make them a bit, a bit nicer looking And also stop uh, rust and shit from getting in there and then we get this rubber flap along the bottom, which makes a pretty good kind of seal. But also the, the reason for that rubber flap is that whenever the trailer is fully tipped, um, this pivot point here is actually down here. So uh, the bottom of the trailer door will actually hit off the ground, so that's where you get this rubber flap. Alright, so this back door is kind of free to open like that there. What you need to do is you need to actually latch it, and that's what all these little pins are for. Alright, fast forward a couple of hours, and what we've done is we've got this kind of click system here so it's spring loaded so it always wants to click down and it's got a limit stop right there which stops it going down any further so it's always at the right height so that when the door comes in like that there click and that door is not moving and it's now kind of locked in pretty well with uh, the rest of the trailer but yeah the best thing about it is the click and the whole thing goes into place that is solid like you know it's not coming out So we're kind of wrapping up another uh, another pretty hectic day here in the shed. Uh, I've now got the back skin on this thing. As well as out there, I've actually put the uh, the greedy boards in place. They're like 10 mil uh, plywood. So the other the other panels that I actually cut uh, from the same big sheet are the ones that are going to go in here uh, to fill these two big gaps here. Right. All right. So this is how we left it last night. Uh, we put the first side in and um, it wasn't easy. Um, I've also had to join it here because I kind of only had so much steel. So it's actually got a butt strap running along it there. Also what you'll notice about it is it's on different wheels. 
So the original wheels there, the little 10 inches, are a fair bit smaller. And that one also has a dick drawn on it. Thanks, Davy. The bigger wheel will do a better job of keeping the kind of keeping the trailer from sinking into the ground and also reducing the load on the tractor as it's pulling it. And that red wheel really is the first uh, kind of clue as to what the final livery of this trailer is going to be. So yeah, now you just got to make the repairs to the engine and the exhaust, put all that shit back together again, and uh, we're golden. Isn't that right? Napoleon says yes. See this shit here? I need a fucking wireless welder. So, uh, science. Get on that shit. No. It's fucking doing my tits in.